This is task 1F where you are going to create the reminder letters. Now these reminder letters are going to be sent to churches where payment has not been made within five weeks of the payment due date. So it's only going to be sent if the booking hasn't been paid, the phone call reminder has been made, a reminder letter has not already been sent and if payment has not been made within five weeks of the payment due date. So before we do anything, we need a query that is going to find this data. Now we've already created a query for the phone calls and that had most of these things set up for us. So we're going to copy that query and we're going to paste it and we'll save this now as a query for the reminder letters. So query reminder letters. So what we'll do is we'll have a look at the design view of this query and we'll just make sure we can see everything. First of all, it's looking for payments due that are three weeks ago. So we're going to compare that now with five weeks instead of three because it says five weeks. It says that a reminder letter must not have already been sent. So this needs to be set to false. And it says that a phone call reminder must have been made. So we set that to true. Let's have a look. We should see two records and there they are. Look, the phone call reminder has been made. A reminder letter hasn't been sent. They haven't been paid. And these are more than five weeks ago. So we'll save that query and that's the query completed. Now what we need to do is create a report that we can turn into a letter. Well, before we start having a look at the data that's required, let's have a look at the letter that it's going to produce. This is the sort of thing that they want. We have a title at the top, the current date, what the booking ID is, booking date and payment due being shown, the name and the address, church, saying dear and who it's going to, the fact that it's a reminder letter, an introductory sentence, and then we want data about the pitch and the pitch allocations and a total quantity. And if we have a look and compare that with the requirements, we can see that it tells us the information that we need. The name and address of a festival should be displayed, the date, but then here, this is what we're going to need to start off report, the church address, together with the contact forename and surname. So let's go through creating this report. So we'll use a wizard again, and we'll start with the church because it says we need to have the church address together with the contact forename and surname. Well, I know I want the forename and surname above the address and what I saw in the letter, so I'm going to put those on first. Then I'm going to have the name of the church. Then we'll have the rest of its address put on. Okay. When we need to include things like the original booking ID, the booking date and the payment due date must be displayed. So I'm going to go for the booking, but I don't actually want the bookings because that will do a letter for everyone. I want just the bookings where I need reminder letters. So this will now filter out the letters that we don't need. So I want the booking ID, the booking date and the payment due. I also wanted the pitch description to be shown. So we need from the pitch type, the description. And from the pitch allocation, we wanted to see the quantity the number of adults, and I'm getting all of this from here, quantity, number of adults, number of children, price charged, must be displayed. So the quantity, number of adults, number of children, and the price charged. So if we move on, we've now got to decide how we're going to display this data. At the moment it's doing it per church, but actually we want one letter per booking. It says a separate letter should be used for each booking. So we need to do this by the booking. Now the booking is in our query. So we're doing it by the query. Now it's doing it per booking. It will include the booking information on there as well as the church information. We don't want to add any extra grouping. We do need some summary options because it wants the total cost of the booking. Again, as before, we know we can't get the exact total, so we'll do just the total of the price charge, but it also wants the total number of adults and children, so we'll include that information on there as well. Click on Next. 
We like the outline view because that makes things a bit easier to follow. We definitely want portrait because we're going to be doing a letter. And now we've got to have what title do we want for our report? Well, if we have a look at this, it had reminder letter, certain part revival. Well, certain part revival is going to be the thing that goes at the top. But I need something that I'm going to be able to remember when it's actually saved. So I'm just going to call it reminder letters and I'll change these things later. So if we finish this, we'll preview the report. It's not going to look much like a letter, it's going to look like a report. But what I am going to do is just make one or two basic changes that we know that we can sort out straight away. So we're going to get rid of these grey backgrounds and we're going to get rid of this summary and we're going to put in here uh, the word total and we're going to get this price correct because we know how to do these sorts of things. So we'll get rid of this where it says summary. We'll have here, instead of sum, we'll have total. And instead of sum of price charged, we'll have sum of price charged times quantity because we've got to include the quantity in there as well. I need to just make that a little bit smaller again and try and line it up, right aligned with the price charged. Pull this back in. Now I want this to be a white background so we'll go to format and change that to be white because it says use a white background and then we want our alternate colors to be white as well so let's just make sure that all our alternate colors are white okay and my title was going to be Sutton Park Revival I noticed looking at the layout that that's going to be centered so I'm going to put that in the center and I'm going to make this a bit wider so it fits in the center and I'm going to put the address underneath. So we'll go for our design tools, find that. We want our address centered as well, so I'm going to put it right the way across. And that's going to be Royal Town of Sutton Coldfield, B742YZ. Let's make it centered. So I click on it, make it centered. We want everything to be in Times New Roman, of course, so I'll use Control A. To select all, change this to be Times New Roman. We'll start off with everything being 12 points and then we can work on the things that shouldn't be. Oh, we forgot to change everything to black as well. So let's just do that. Uh, this one, of course, should be red and it should be 24 and it should be bold. And we're going to stop at that point and we're going to see what our report is looking like. We know that we want it to turn into a letter. So there we go, we've now got all the information on there that's asked for. We've got to do a few extra things down here which we're going to have a look at in the next tutorial. And we can get rid of uh, things like the grand total because we don't need a grand total. We only want the total for each booking for each church. So we'll get rid of that grand total and we'll get rid of this date and page number. And then we'll move on to the next tutorial which is going to be about making it look more like a letter. So I'm just going to delete all of these. It's actually got three grand totals there, so I've got to delete them all. And we'll get rid of the page footer as well. We don't need a report footer, so let's get rid of that. And let's get rid of the page footer as well. Okay, so let's have one more look at this. We'll do a print preview this time. And that's what it's looking like so far. Okay, so the next tutorial will show you how to turn this into something that looks more like a letter.